Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good evening, especially to our lecturers, uh, technologist Faizal Abdul Halim. Um, and before we proceed to our presentation, we would like to introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Daya Modeti Zahira Binti Omar Sal. Pascal? My name is Pascal Rangelo. And my name is Muhammad Fahmi bin Safari. My name is Muhammad Sharon bin Muhammad Tamizi. All right, okay, thank you guys. Okay, today we will present about our mold design project. We are from 4BMMP. Okay, so, um, so before we start, I would like to share our slide. So give me a moment to share our slide. Mm -hmm. okay. okay guys, did you see the slide that I present? Can you rest for Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, so this is our uh, front slide uh, or front page of our slide. Okay, so next uh, we will start with introduction. Okay, what is small design actually? Small design is a decisive factor for the molding success, such as dimensioning and location of the sprue gates, dimensioning of shear edges flow at cooling and ejector techniques. Okay, um, if you can see um, that I show in our slide, okay, we will present about venting mold design. So actually the mold vent should be designed on the cavity side of the parting surface in order to facilitate, facilitate mold manufacturing and cleaning. We will try to set it at the end of the material floor and the thicker section of the plastic part. So the proper mold venting is essential of producing quality parts. During the molding process, the air contained in the mold needs a way to escape. Otherwise, um, the melt will compress and trap the air, the air in the cavity. So uh, the next slide will present about how the process is ongoing. So I would like to invite uh, Shaharong to present our next slide. Alright. Uh, for I will present the, about the core cavity drawing. Okay. So, um, sorry. Okay. Uh, I will uh present the, my my core cavity drawing. Okay. Actually, what I do the the product is uh maybe I will uh more to explain more detail about the my products. Okay, uh, our product. Sorry. Okay. Uh, actually, the functional uh purpose uh, of the product this uh product materials of wetting is made from the material ABS. Okay, and for producing quality pieces proper mold venting is important why it's important the air trap in the mold requires a way to escape during the molding process okay otherwise the melt will compress and trap the air in the cavity okay. poor venting may also cause the mold to wear on the mold party line along with the effect resulting in flash okay uh, on on the injection portion Injection speed reduction will allow more time for the air to escape through the vent from the cavity. But this lead to other issues such as short shot. This occur because the temperature of the plastic decreases as the injection speed slow. The lower the plastic temperature, the higher the viscosity of the melt, allowing the plastic to start hardening before the mold is fully full and just creating unfinished part. Normal mold, venting requires machining roots between the mechanical component of the mold from which air can escape. For instance, between the party line, pins or injector pins such as slider, MKMs, typical van location may include 
uh, and the more cavity can be divided to insert to increase the number of potential uh, venting areas in partial line and sliding elements do not allow adequate venting. Ben venting the crate by the melt will decrease the frequency of the mold clean and contamination of the mold cavity. Okay, we go to next for the sli uh, next slide, the explode molding. Okay, we can look uh, uh, the my molding uh, one by one part Okay, like item number one uh, mm -hmm. until 31 and this part number they have uh, and quantities of the pro quantity of the uh, part have to in a uh, have in a uh, table uh, table box and the part number have a core core plate holder ejector plate uh, code supper pillar injection pin guide pin Okay, cooling spring, spring shock, cooling couples, uh, plate, uh, cavity fix, uh, support plate, locating ring, uh, and uh, and more to detail and uh, maybe can look the in the table, more to detail and uh, include a part with running system. For the next uh, slide, okay, next slide. Okay. Uh, maybe we can look uh, for the last, the uh, upper, uh, last uh, video for the mall open close animation. Okay, maybe I give up Pascal for the next discussion. Excellent. All right, thank you so much, uh, Shah, my teammate. So in this discussion, I will talk about challenges encountered during the drawing process, the overall insight of the project, and also what kind of improvement that we can do to further improve this project in the future. So let's talk about the challenges encountered during the drawing process. So in so as, as Shah had mentioned, in producing this drawing, the challenges, the first challenges are he had to do a lot of a lot of parts, 31 total of parts, in fact. So making these 31 parts in total and then combining them into one mold is already a proven challenge itself. And that is a, a major pro it is a major challenges that has been done to create this one mold. And Secondly, let's all look at the overall inside of the project. So for this project, we creating a venting mold design, which in short, it said proper mold venting is essential for producing quality parts. So I think for this part, we have achieved our objective here. And next is how do we improve this mold or the project for the future? So the first improvement is to, is to look on, on how to handle the short shot problem that Shah has mentioned back then. And also number two is that on how to increase the overall efficiency of the cooling of the mold itself, which is should be looked more into the future. So that is all for me. And next I will pass to Fahmi. Well, thank you to all my fellow friends. Uh, I will talk about the conclusion or the summary. So uh, what we can conclude, I, uh, I divide into three points. The first is to fulfill the requirement for plastic part design. The second conclusion is able to identify core and cavity. Uh, number three, identify the plastic flow parameter and predict and avoid manufacturing different and plastic part and injection mode design. Okay. Uh, first, to fulfill the requirement for plastic part design. Okay, uh, from this activity or this project, we uh, we can know or able to determine uh, some consideration of guideline to design a plastic component to achieve uh, to a kind defect free plastic part. Okay. Uh, although it is 
not possible to follow all design guidelines because of product design constraint. Uh, some of the consideration during the design the of the process uh, as uh, of the design FB guide, uh, such as what is uniform, second bosses and lip design, third sharp corner, fourth gasset, fifth draft angle, and the last one is uh, the shrinkage ratio. So for the next, for the second conclusion is. Uh, able to identify core and cavity. Uh, core and core and cavity of the one in which the A side crater and the outside of the pipe and the B side creates the inside. The idea for this it is that part will decrease onto the B side, this will be ejected, and when the outside and inside are composed with opposite equal also the thickness of the wall will be constant to our this is what uh, we learn when we apply or when we run this project and the last the last conclusion is we can identify the flow parameter and predict and avoid manufacturing defect all right uh, for information, uh, we use uh, solid work plastic. One of the computer added design. Uh, on the solid work plastic, we use CAE simulation tools that can help to predict how melted plastic flows during the injection molding process. The manufacturing method used to produce more than 80% of all plastic product. All right. And uh, the ability to predict how the plastic will flow. This defect. All right. Uh, we can uh, change the geometry processing condition of the plastic material use to minimize potential defect. Thus, uh, saving energy, natural process, time and money. All right. Uh, by implementing this solid work plastic, uh, help to calculate and run injection molding simulation, allowing for examination of few pattern well lines and cooling rates. This activity aim to introduce the basic function of the of the solid work plastic. Uh, so by using solid work plastic, uh, we can predict uh, the defect on the product that we want to produce. All right, that's all from me for conclusion part. So we back to Dayang. All right, okay. Thank you guys for your uh, very detailed explanation. So I would like to um, Add some more details. Okay, we back for our okay. okay. So as you know, actually, um, I would like to share some details that I found, which are plastic overflow mm -hmm. value and maximum maximum uh, more venting depth. So actually, the venting depth should be able to guarantee smooth and venting while keeping the molten plastic inside at the same time. So um, actually the venting depth for the plastic material falls into three range, which is uh, the first one is maximum venting depth for low viscosity material, 0 0.01 until 0 0.03 mm. The second one is maximum venting depth for medium viscosity material, 0 0.03 until 0 0.05. Five mm, and the third one is maximum venting depth for high viscosity material, zero point zero five until zero point zero eight mm. So this is uh, the three categories of viscosity, uh, low, medium, and high. So uh, thank you guys for today. Uh, it's a very, um, I'm very glad because we we have the opportunity to present our project. So see you later. Uh, see you in next round. So uh, that's always today.
ありがとうございます。<笑>